5280 Sports Network on a Monday, your morning minute. Nate Lundy, Sean Drotar, thanks for stopping by here. Hope you enjoyed the sunshine this weekend, and it continues to roll into the week. The Rockies were certainly enjoying things, despite the fact that the weather was not on their side. They win a four-game series on the road against San Francisco for the first time ever. They've never managed to do that, and they did it yesterday, closing things out uh, with a, kind of an oddball game with Sensatella on the bump. Yes, yeah, Sensatella does get the win, uh, his second win in his first three starts, only five Rockies have ever done that, uh, but it did start strangely. The Rockies uh, came out hot, they were out three to nothing at the top of the first, Sensatella gave it all back in the bottom of the first, yep. and then continued, again, Bud Black shows uh, faith in his younger guys, then continues to throw six more innings, all scoreless. The Rockies get it done, the bullpen comes out uh, done, and on Holland close it out again. Rockies have the most wins in baseball. Wrap your head around that. Yeah, that's kind of an odd one to be able to sit with, even though we are only 14 games into the season. That's still a big number to pay attention to. The other thing, though, that you have to feel good about is, uh, and Doug Ottawell wrote about it for MileHighSports.com this morning, is the idea, Sean, it's not so much about how many wins, certainly it's nice to be leading the majors, it's about how those wins are happening happening. For once, it seems to be the pitching and the bullpen that's doing it because the bats are not exactly on fire right now. No, they're not. And then the Rockies are doing well in tight games. Last year, they won 12 one-run games. That was the lowest total in the entire National League. This year, they're already 5-0 in one-run games. So the bullpen deserves a lion's share of the credit for that. Greg Holland still hasn't given up a run, and he's 6-for-6 six six in, in save opportunities. So going very well there. Everything's coming along fine. We'll find out now. They're going into L.A. after a day off, their first day off of the year. Now they go into L.A. and face the Dodgers. Uh, did okay against them in Coors Field, but going against them in Dodger Stadium yeah. in that pitcher's heaven is a totally different game. Well, and the other thing I'm going to be looking forward to, like uh, some folks may notice, it's, it's an odd schedule, by the way. Again, the Rockies are off today. They're also off Thursday. This is just a two-game set against L.A. But the thing I'll be looking for, they're going to face off with Clayton Kershaw again on Thursday, on uh, Wednesday. Excuse me. And as much as Rockies fans might want to say, well, we beat Kershaw once, let's see if we can do it again. That's not what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to what happens with Kyle Freeland in tomorrow night's because you're talking about that amazing start at home, opening day, all of the, the crazy vibes that happened there and then the bad game that followed it against the Padres last Wednesday. So the trick is how does he respond? To me, that's much more of the story over the course of the next two games. Um, even if they wound up both being losses to the Dodgers, Sean, I still feel like that to me is what I'm gonna be looking for. How does Freeland react now with one really good start and one not so good start under his belt in Major League Baseball? Now the question is what happens in start number three? That's what I'll be looking for out of Freeland more than anything else. Especially without a lot of room to maneuver with John Gray expected to be out for a a month. They don't have a lot of depth. You're already talking about Sensatella and Freeland, two rookies in your rotation. That's two-fifths of your rotation. Now you miss John Gray for a month. The Rockies now no longer are optimistic and hopeful about Sensatella and Freeland. They need them desperately if they want to keep this hot start going. Absolutely. We'll get a chance to talk some Broncos NFL draft coming up later this week in our morning minutes, but for today we focus in on the baseball and we enjoy the sunshine. Have a great Monday, everybody. Check out all the content posted up at 5280sportsnetwork.com as well as milehighsports.com. But for now, for Sean, I'm Nate. We'll see you.